All right, my name is Marty McLean. I'm from Douglasville, Georgia, which is a suburb of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 46 years old, married to Stephanie, and we have four kids ages 21 to 12. I'm the pastor of Summit Church of West Georgia. Uh, I believe in creation. God created the heavens and the earth. I believe in the fall in the Garden of Eden. Uh, I believe that there's uh, restoration, uh, redemption through Jesus Christ. I think that heaven is better than anything we could have imagined. Uh, I believe that there is a literal hell. And the Bible does refer to, the, in the book of Revelation, the lake of fire. Do you believe in God? No. <laughs> why not? <laughs> I've never seen him. <laughs> if there's no God, why should I believe in him? Okay. Arabs people in, in Denmark, I don't think they are religious all day, all time. Let me ask you about a explosive issue that I've read about with Denmark, and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, it seems like there's an issue with having same-sex marriage ceremonies in the church, and did the parliament make the church start doing that in the church? Yeah. So it was the parliament, the government said, you must perform yeah. same-sex marriages in the church. Yeah. That's correct. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I think um, God has created love not to make new generations, but to unite people. And that's all I have to say in that case. Sure. I believe same-sex attraction is a sin. When it comes to homosexuality, the worst thing I could do to somebody is say, you know, God made you that way and he wants you to stay that way. And God's all for you know, a homosexual relationship. When, when you look in the Bible, you see what, what, what God says about homosexuality. I have to deny so much of scripture in order to give that type of counsel. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Are you from here? No. Do you believe in God? No. No. I believe in science and that I believe in. And I understand that there are still some gaps some things that we don't know about, but time will come. I mean, a hundred years ago, there were a number of things we didn't know as we knew them today. And that is science that provides us with these solutions to a better life. Right. And evolution is by faith, because it's not been proven, and nobody was there to witness, and there's no missing link. So I believe in humanity and human rights, in short, I have no need of a God, put it bluntly. Hmm. Wow. Do you believe in God? Of course, yes, I do. Are you a Christian? No, I'm a Muslim. Muslim? No. Why? Well, uh, it doesn't look, feel that modern or scientific or... My religious community is quite new, new religiously formed in Sweden and authorized by the Swedish state. It's called the Missionary Church of Kapimism, okay. and it's based on, on the belief on, on Kapimism. And Kapimism is the idea about copying and that everything evolves around copying in, in universe and in language. And, and we believe that copying is a kind of a sacred act. So, are you Christian? No, we're not Christian. You're, okay, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to get my, my, ah, my, my right. head around this thing, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. How would your religion prepare you for eternity? I think like you can upload our brains and then we can live on forever and ever. As a Christian, obviously I don't believe all religion is equal. What, what does that say about Sweden? Well, I reckon uh, to each his own, uh, anything goes, um, you know, there is no 
one solid fundamental base. It's just kind of whatever you'd like.